Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is January 27, 2022. Let's look at most beaten down stocks. We'll start with the market update. Look at most beaten down stocks. Price more than $10. And then look at most beaten down, beaten down stocks with price less than $10. So with that, let's jump in and get started. So as you can see here, we've got a few great companies here. Look, we got 1-800 flowers. Stock came down drastically today. They had some supply chain issues. They missed on earnings, revenue guy, revenue as well as guidance. That's why stock came tumbling down. Then we got Teradyne, one of the one of my favorite stock here. It's a semiconductor testing company, and they have a they had a little bit lower guidance. Stock came down. And we got Watts Water Company. It's again a steady eddy type stock. People don't talk about this company enough, but it's a profitable company. And this stock also came down. And then you got SAP here, German software company. They're buying a fintech company. That's why stock came down here. It's a great buy. I think it's a good one to look at this time here. And then you got a Fate Therapeutics, biotech stock. This also came down. I would be looking at buying this stock also. And then you got Silicon Motion here, article symbol CMO. It's also a good buy here. Stock came down today. It's a Hong Kong based company. So with that, let's look at these companies and many more and go from there. So as you can see here from a news perspective, we got Apple. Apple did uh, great on the earnings and uh, you know they actually did very well. And they also claimed, reclaimed the top spot in China. So anytime Apple comes down, it's a good buy here, but you could see a small pop tomorrow. But if it comes down, uh, always buy Apple. And then got uh, Atlassian here, team stock came, uh, jumped higher. They had some uh, raised guidance and uh, they also have uh, subscription jumping. So that's a good stock to buy, but I would wait here. It's uh, gone up too much here. And then you got Robinhood uh, stock came down. Looks like uh, folks are leaving, um, you know, uh, traders are leaving the company here and going after going into different companies. That's why stock came down here. I would be waiting and watching on this one. I will not be jumping in at this time. Visa did well, as you can see here, they did great. I think Visa is still a good buy on a down day. This stock will do well. And then got 1-800 flower stock came tumbling down um, because of earnings miss, uh, EPS miss, uh, revenue miss, um, which and as well as supply chain glitches. I think it's a great buy slowly at this point. I'll be slowly building a position here. Uh, they, they do very well at times. And then you got MasterCard again doing well here. I think this is a good one to buy on any down day. And we got two more here, both semiconductor plays here, both Intel as well as LAM Research came down. I think both are good buy. And LAM Research is a better buy than Intel, but Intel will also do well with the new CEO. So with that, let's jump in and look at a uh, few stocks here. So as you can see here from a stock market perspective, uh, today we had a rough day. Look, uh, stock market went higher in the morning, but came tumbling down as you can see here. Around 12 o'clock or so, 11.30, 12, stock started coming down here. And same scenario in NASDAQ came tumbling down. And we got S&P 500 came down here. So we got a nice um, recovery rally here after the Fed um, guidance uh, yesterday but it's very short lived as you can see here, but futures are jumping higher. We'll see how it goes. And we've got very few advancing stocks here, just 23% and 73% declining stocks. So with that, I think it's a great uh, pickers market here. You could really pick some great buy and hold on, hold on for it, uh, hold on for a while. So with that, let's jump in and look at what's going on here. As you can see here, um, from a market perspective, uh, look, consumer cyclical uh, is the most uh, uh, beaten down today, as you can see here. And on the longer run, consumer cyclical always does very well, as you can see here. So at this time, you could buy some great consumer cyclical stocks and hang on to them. And then you got your real estate, again, uh, down big time here in the near term. 
I think it's a you know good one to buy. The problem right now is uh, because interest rates are going higher, folks are putting off real estate purchases. That's why it's a little bit slow, um, lower today, but it's a great longer term buy. And then got industrials also hit hard as you can see here. Industrials typically do well longer run. So we could buy some industrials here on this weakness and go from there. So with that, uh, let's look at a few stocks here. Look, technology is uh, holding pretty steady here. They dropped a little bit today, but not too much. I think tech is a good one to buy here. Um, and we'll you know, look, healthcare is also a good one. You could look at healthcare here. It's down 10% in one month. It's also a good one to slowly buy some great healthcare stocks and go from there. So with that, what we'll do now is we'll look at futures market and see what's going on in the futures market. Let's jump to Thinkorswim here. Look, we got here futures. Look, S&P 500 futures. Um, it's, uh, as you can see here, trend is down as of now. Look, nice downtrend here. It's trying to go higher in the near term. We'll keep a close watch on this. Market is trying to decide where to go. It's still digesting uh, Fed's uh, guidance here. I think it should slowly moderate and go higher, especially if few earnings are really great. We'll see how it goes. Look, in the futures market, uh, S&P 500 is going higher by 17 points, so it might, uh, you know, we might have a little bit um, um, better day tomorrow. It might go higher, and we got Nasdaq here. Look, uh, it's also down here below 200-day moving average, but futures are futures are indicating a nice rally here. And then you got um, Dow Jones Industrial Average down below 200-day moving average. Again, we see a nice uh, rally here. 103 points um, jump in uh, Dow Jones futures. And finally, Russell, as you can see here, it's a very weak right now, weaker of the segments, and it's also slightly higher in the futures market. We'll see if this holds. So with that, let's look at uh, bonds and see what bonds are doing. <clears throat> so as you can see here, we got bond market here. Bonds are trying to see where to go. Right now, it's slightly down, as you can see here in the futures market, but we had a nice down day, uh, down a uh, couple of days in the uh, bonds. Interest rates are jumping higher. This is a problem for stock market. As the interest rates goes higher, there will be sector rotation going on uh, from growth stocks to a little bit steady eddy type names here. Uh, oil is jumping higher. I would be waiting here, let it come cool off a little bit. And look, we got gold coming down. Gold is a great buy now. I think uh, you can buy some gold here as a hedge um, to your portfolio and go from there. And we'll look at one or two big cap names here and go into um, stock list. So from a big cap name perspective, <clears throat> we got Apple here. Um, Apple, as you can see here, it's a great stock. It's uh, trying to it's uh, trying to come below 100-day moving average. We could see a bounce tomorrow. They had a great earning. They did very well, and they also claimed the number one spot in China. Um, I think Apple is a great buy. Look, RSI is very low here. I would be a buyer of Apple at these levels um, and go from there. And then for Microsoft here, it's again a great buy. Um, they bought Activision Blizzard. RSI is low here. They are already announced the earnings. Cost is clear. Uh, look here on the balance volume is going higher, so you could uh, you know safely buy Microsoft here and go from there. And then you got Amazon.com. Look, this one is a puzzle. It's uh, been going down off late, but we have a nice jump today. I think it's a great one to buy here. RSI is completely off, very low here. It's a great, great long-term buy. And then you got Facebook or Meta. It's again a great long-term buy. It's having some lower lows as you can see here. But I would be a long-term buyer of um, Facebook or Meta. They always have a you know fast way of um, you know um, accelerating their product uh, new products. But the issue is uh, they had some uh, not so great uh, luck on the crypto side of the house. They're exiting the business. I think that's why some of these uh, tailwind for the company. Longer term, this will do very well. And we'll look at one or two more and uh, jump in. All right, so let's look at a uh, <clears throat> few more big cap names here. We got Google, as you can see here. 
Google, Google is down below 200 day moving average, trying to bounce off of 200 day moving average. At this time, I'm a buyer of Google. Look on the balance wall is pretty steady here. And then I got Netflix. Netflix, I think it's a great buy at this level. So I'll be, I'm slowly accumulating Netflix here. I think it's a great buy after this huge big drop here. Look on the balance wall, it's starting to go higher. That's why it's a good one to slowly buy here. Then you got NVIDIA, it's a great buy here. Look, stock is coming down um, below 200 day moving average. RSI 27 tells you it's completely sold off here. On the balance wall, it's starting to moderate here. I think it's a great buy. And then you got AMD here. Again, stock is completely beaten down here below 200 day moving average. And it's down uh, today also. I think it's a great, great buy here. You could buy slowly and accumulate a nice position in uh, AMD here. And we'll look at one or two more and jump in. All right, so we got a few more semiconductor stocks as you can see here. ASML below 200 day moving average, it's a great buy. And then we got your AMAT, Applied Material, again, same story here. Um, and look, applied material on the balance volume is trying to go higher. It's a good one here. And then you got uh, LAM Research completely sold off here. It's a great buy. I would be a buyer of LAM Research at these levels here. And then you got Micron completely sold off, as you can see here, on the balance volume is stable. You could buy some Micron at this point and go from there. So with that, let's uh, jump in and go back to our spreadsheet, our uh, per point here uh, covers few stocks <clears throat> so as you can see here we'll look at etf performance from an etf performance perspective as you can see here s p 500 is uh, down for a while now um, let's go back here all right s p 500 is down for a while as you can see here one day five day ten day one month six month uh, it's down and S&P 500 is squarely in the correction territory right now. It's down below 10%, which is a correction territory. Uh, it's at 10% below its 52-week high. And then you got QQQ here, again, uh, correction territory, down 16% from 52-week high. Look, it's been down for six months, just like S&P 500. And then you got Russell 2000 completely sold off here. Dow Jones is a little stronger as you can see here, but still it's uh, it's not yet in the correction territory, but pretty close here. And IYT transportation, again, uh, it's uh, uh, low here. It's also in the correction territory. Typically, stock market looks out for this uh, uh, IYT or transportation. Uh, there's an old adage, as uh, transports go, so does the overall market. That's why you got to be a little bit careful here um, and go from there. All right, now let's look at a few more here, financial sector here. From a financial sector, as you can see at XLF, which is a big ETF in the financials, it's a down, as you can see here. Um, it's a down, you know, up to three months here, and it's not yet in the correction territory. So it's a good one to buy some great um, um, XLF for finance stocks, like JP Morgan, as an example. I think it's a great buy here. And then you got energy. Energy is sort of the nice uh, area here. It's been going higher. At this time, it's too hot for me. Look, RSI 71 tells you, wait and watch, don't jump in now. And we've got here a few more here. Look, ut ut utilities are doing very well. And as you can see here, right now, RSI 61 in, in utilities. I think on, on the down day, you can buy some great utilities. Right now, it's a little bit higher. And you got IYR. I think it's a great one to buy here. You could buy some real estate uh, ETF here, or you could even buy real estate stocks. Look, RSI 22 tells you this uh, real estate here completely sold off here. It's a great buy. It's also in the correction territory. It's a down 12% from 52 week high. So, with that, let's look at a few more ETFs and see what's going on. <clears throat> look, we got. Uh, Few more defensive uh, names here. We got XLP, which is uh, consumer staples, as many of you know here. And it's uh, as you can see here, RSI is very low, uh, 36. Uh, you could buy some, um, you know, XLP on the down days um, and go from there. Today it went higher. Typically, when the market tanks on bad news, uh, these uh, these type of uh, steady eddy names 
um, they will go higher. Then we got healthcare, same story. Healthcare also went higher. We don't want these uh, sectors to take leadership. That tells you market is in a little bit trouble here. And then we got gold here. Gold also rolled over today, as, it's, as you can see here. At this point, gold is in the middle of the road here with RSI 50. You could slowly buy some gold on the down days and accumulate. And finally, we got a few more here. We got um, high tech, as you can see here. All these high techs are down, as you can see. So at this time, it's um, completely sold off RSI 29. If you're a long-term investor, you could buy some XLK, which is a great ETF to buy. Look, they've done great in um, 10 years. 556% is a great performance here. And then got XLY again, I like this one too. It's also beaten down big time as you can see here, squarely in the correction territory. All these ETFs are in correction territory as you can see here. You could buy some uh, XLY, it's also in you know, SMH semiconductor. It's a great one to buy completely beaten down here. With the RSI 33, you could buy some SMH here. And finally, we got IBB, again, biotech. I love biotech. Look, it's also down RSI 21, completely sold off. You could buy some IBB here, or you could buy some great biotech names. And finally, let's uh, look at a few more and go from there. Look, we got a few more here. We got XLI and XOP, so on and so forth. Keep, keep watching RSI. All these are completely sold off, probably with the exception of uh, XOP here. XOP is pretty strong, as you can see here, oil. Um, um, so other, other things are all sold off here. So you could buy some great um, XLI industrials, and you could buy some home builders, as you can see here. And retail stocks are also down big time. You could buy some great ones like TJ Maxx and Costco, and go from there. So with that, let's uh, look at a few more here. Look at the beaten down stock with price more than $10. And we'll also look at low price stock a little bit later. I know many of you trade low price stocks also, but let's start with the high price stocks here and look at the beaten down names. So as you can see here, we got beaten down names. I will not uh, talk about every all these stocks in detail, but we'll cover a few ones here. To touch on few ones here, we got uh, top of the list, we got Lending Tree, completely sold off today, as you can see here, down big time, 29% in one day. And also watch the overall score here. Overall score is a little bit less for Lending Tree, and they got a grade D from Morning Tower for financials, and a grade D for growth, and a grade F for profitability. So if you're a longer term investor, I say, you know, you stay away from this one, especially because your score is 21, which is lower. But if you are a swing trader, you could take advantage of this uh, drop here and buy some and go from there. Look, net margin is negative right now. That's why I'm not super happy about this one. But with the PS ratio uh, or a valuation low, you could uh, buy some and go from there. Next is we got 1800 flowers. I know some of you asked me, is it a good time to buy? I think 1800 flowers, especially because it's got a nice overall grade here uh, by considering the growth, profitability, valuation. I think it's a better name here. Look, it's got a grade C from financials, not too bad. Very good the Altman Z score, 4.3, that tells you this company is not gonna go out of business. It's got a lot of money, stability. Nice growth here with the grade B and grade C for profitability, not bad at all. I think it's a good one to buy. Uh, its stock is overly punished because of their uh, you know, multiple uh, issues around earnings and uh, revenue as well as uh, lighter guidance. I think it's a good one to buy here. And then you got Teradyne, one of my favorite stock here. Stock is down. Look, this is also a good profitable company. Pro net of profit margin is positive, 28%. Even one, one, one hundred flowers also positive net margin. I would be a buyer of this name here. It's got a, a little bit higher price to sales, but not too bad. It's done great. Look at the fire performance, 317%. And a lot of cash in their balance sheet, uh, $1.3 billion. And nice Altman Z score and also nice overall score. So it's a great time to buy some Teradyne if you don't have it, or even if you have it, add some more. 
And then we got a few more, as you can see here. Look, we got uh, Watts Water Company. Folks don't talk about this company. Look at uh, the way they're doing. They got a nice overall score of 75. That's very healthy. And look here, they got nice sales, $1.7 billion. And nice uh, sales growth quarter over quarter, as well as nice gross margin, as well as net margin. So it's a great one to buy here. I think this stock is not talked enough. And then you got Tesla here. I like this one too. Tesla, as you can see, it completely sold off here. Tesla has got a positive net margin, as you can see here, 7% positive net margin. A little bit higher price to sales ratio because Elon Musk is the leader, very charismatic, and folks are uh, paying up a little more money here. That's why price to sales ratio is high. Look at the performance. They've done great in the past. And also overall score, as you can see, are pretty good here. So I'm comfortable buying this one also. And then finally, we got one more here, MXL. MXL, as you see here, it's got a little bit higher uh, um, score here, 44. Not super good here, but uh, literally better here. You could buy this one also. It also had done good in one year as well as five years, as you can see here. Right now, net margin is slightly negative, but uh, this can turn a corner pretty soon. <clears throat> you could look at other names also, but those are the ones which are a little more stronger. Keep watching the overall score here. If it is lower than, say, 30 or 35, you know, don't go after those unless you are a very short-term trader. If you're a long-term trader, go after the stocks with a nice, nice overall score maybe about say 50 or so those could be the good ones as you can see here we got a couple of them about 50 here with the uh, teradyne and we got here um, um, one eternal flowers as well as uh, uh, watts water company you could look at those ones here and you could also venture into mxl here even though it's 44 could be okay all right let's look at a few more here uh, we'll uh, go pretty quickly. As you can see here, we got a few ones here. First one is Fate Therapeutics. Nice score here, 54, above 50. Right now, net margin is negative. You could still buy some Fate here. It's a great one, good long-term play. And then got Valley, as you can see here. Valley has got a good net margin. Company is making money, 35%, as you can see here. Overall score is 72. You could buy this one also. It's also a good one here. And then as you see here, we got a few more with nice score. Look, we got MKSI. Again, a nice uh, instrumentation stock. Company is making money, net margin positive, as you can see here. And nice score. Look, 94, it's one of the best score here. And we got two more here. We got SAP, German software company. They're buying a fintech company. That's why stock came down. Look, positive net margin, 21%. That's good here. And nice overall score. You could uh, buy this one also. Look at the financials. Great tip top, uh, grade A in the financials. And finally, two of my favorites here. We got Northrop, great uh, a defense contractor. And Textron, same story, defense contractor. Both have got positive net margin. If you were to pick one, I would go with the higher net margin, which is uh, Northrop, which is uh, one of my favorite here. And look, it's got a nice 92 grade. We could buy some uh, Northrop here. And I also like AMD here. AMD, as you can see here, it's uh, making money, positive net margin. Uh, right now, overall score, I think it's uh, probably it's uh, not populated right now, but it's a great one to buy. I love AMD. It's a great one to buy here. So with that, let's uh, look at a few more and go from there. <clears throat> so we got a few more, as you can see here. Top of the list, we got Intel. I love Intel. It's uh, It's been a little bit slow start for Intel with the new CEO. Very low RSI. Company is making money, as you can see here. Nice score. Look, 87, not too bad at all. And they got nice uh, Altman Z score. Company is not going to go out of business. Nice score when it comes to finance, growth, as well as profitability from Morningstar. I'll be buyer of this one. I also like Lamb. Lamb is a great one to buy here. Net margin positive, company making money. And great grades from Morningstar. And great overall grade, as you can see here. <clears throat> and then I got a few more. You could look at Sony. Sony is one of my favorites. You know, this came, this stock came tumbling down after Microsoft announced they're going to buy Activision Blizzard. Look, nice um, net margin here. And overall score is great, 78. You could uh, buy some uh, Sony here. It's a good long-term play. 
And then we got a few more SEC here. We got GFI. GFI is also one of my favorite gold stock. Uh, this company is making money. Look nice net margin, 23%. Great overall score. You could buy that one too. All right. Now let's look at the most beaten down stocks with price less than $10. $10. I know many of you like to buy, buy these names here. But be careful. Keep watching the overall score as usual. Go after the stronger candidates. So with that, uh, keep watching this one here. Um, keep watching the overall score also. If you look at this list here, look at KPTI, the last one here. Um, and it is $7 stock, as you can see here, Biotech. Um, nice sales growth, look, 77%. Company is not making money net margin negative. But look at the overall score here. It gets 58, the highest in this list here. So it would be a buyer of uh, KPTI for the long term. And one of the problem in the KPTI, as you can see here, Altman Z score is negative 6.8. That tells you company does not have solid financials. So that's why if you're a long term investor, you could uh, you could avoid this. But uh, given the growth is high, look, growth is A here. They're growing nicely, but financials are C. Profitability is F. That's why. You know, if you are a long-term investor, probably it's, you know, KPTI is not for you. But if you are a swing trader, this could be one for you. Um, the reason I'm saying is uh, Altman Z score is low. Um, you know, they don't have too much uh, cash on hand. And then you can look at one more here. Look, Bitform, uh, which is again a little bit higher overall score as you can see here. This one gets 41, which is one of the highest in this list here. You could also buy this one. As you can see here, net margin is positive, company is making money. And then finally, probably you could look at two more here, Excel Fleet, you could look at this one too. Overall score is 31, which is not super bad here. <clears throat> and Excel Fleet also has uh, good money here, as you can see here. Altman Z score is uh, 4.7, and they, got, got th they have $367 million cash. They're not going to go out of business here. And then one last one here, Tal. Tal is a, you know, a Chinese name here. Probably we'll skip it for now um, and go from there. Next, we can look at our next list here. As you see, we same methodology. Keep watching the highest score. We got one winner here. We got LPL. It's uh, just $8 stock, as you can see here. Net margin positive. These, these folks are making money. 6% uh, positive net margin. And look, nice overall score, 81. So you could buy this one into this big weakness here and go from there. And if you were to buy one more, look at this one here, PGen, Precision, um, $2 stock, not too much at all. <clears throat> and, you know, look, uh, this one, you got to be careful here. Probably not a good one here because uh, Altman Z score negative. That tells you watch. Uh, it's a financially not stable. Uh, you could pass this one up here. Um, and let's look at a few more and go from there. Okay, we got cont continuation here. Keep watching the high uh, score. Uh, EDU Chinese play. Probably you can avoid that one here. Um, it's a Chinese play. Even though score is good, it's a Chinese play. It's been going down off late. And we got two more here with the nice score. Well, look, we got uh, Finolution. Again, a Chinese name here. Uh, score is high, but stock has been going down. You could avoid that one too, I would think. And we got EXK. It's one of my favorite. Uh, it's a silver stock here. Completely sold off. Nice score. You could uh, buy this for longer term here and go from there. And we've got a few more, you know, these biotech stocks are a little, you know, you can't uh, predict them. But I like Bridge Bio here, even though score is very, very low. Uh, just, um, uh, let's see here, the score, overall score is uh, lower for Bridge Bio. There is no score right now. But it's a good long-term play, but uh, you got to be careful on this one. Company has been um, <clears throat> negative net margin, as you can see here. So with that, uh, let's... Uh, um, Oh, let's conclude here. Thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.